Today I have the pleasure of speaking with George Putnam of Scandium International. How are you today, George? I'm great, Tracy. Thanks. And George, I was just reading an article by Dr. Luke Duchesne. He was describing you as the world's most advanced pre-mining Scandium undertaking. And all of our investors out there interested in uh, manganese, cobalt, lithium in the electric vehicle market, I don't think they appreciate how important that uh, Scandium is to this particular sector. Maybe you could start by introducing some of our audience that may not be Scandium experts to Scandium. Sure, Tracy. We are increasingly thinking of Scandium as a tech metal and it features in uh, everywhere in the transportation world as a, uh, as a, as a, as a way to build a, a better aluminum alloy and lightweight anything in the transportation business. You bring up electric vehicles and of course everything about an electric vehicle is uh, extending range and performance uh, in, those, in those vehicles and uh, a, a better aluminum alloy, a lighter uh, more effective aluminum alloy would it be a range extender just as would be a better battery, battery technology. Anything you lift off the ground, you want a better alloy to do it with. So it certainly figures in the aerospace business as well. And speaking of liftoff, George, let's talk about what happened to your stock last week, up over 50% on these research and development incentive tax credits. Tell us a little bit more about this. Sure. Um, the the Australians do a, um, a very nice tax rebate if you spend R&D money on, uh, on new technologies. And, of course, Scandium is new enough to qualify in that regard. So while we have invest, been investing uh, a fair number of, uh, in a fair number of uh, elements of our project on, the, on, uh, on both on environmental fronts and also on, uh, on flow sheet uh, design work, we were able to uh, receive a nice uh, a nice grant back, a little bit less than five hundred thousand dollars U.S., a little more than seven hundred Canadian. So, speaking of congratulations, in addition to this tax credit, uh, you recently received a granting of a ministerial development consent awarded by the New South Wales Australia Minister of Planning. Now, if I recall, this is a major milestone that you've been working forward to for quite a while. Can you tell us more about this? Uh, it is a major milestone. We're very proud to have achieved this. Um, in order to build a mine in Australia, you need a mining lease. And it's a two-step process. The first step is the bigger step of the two. Um, and that is to get this ministerial grant uh, from, uh, from planning and environment on, uh, on a development consent. Now, this thing is based on our environmental impact statement, it's based on public exhibition, and it basically is the state of New South Wales looking at all the environmental and social impacts of this project and deciding that they want this project to go forward. This is a project they want to see built in their state. The second piece of this, of course, is a, um, a mining lease, and that goes to a different minister in trade and industry, and that's where we are now. Uh, and we're patiently waiting for uh, the granting of that mining lease. And that's really the primary permit that we need to uh, begin construction of the project. So if I understand this properly, this is like the green light for a project to go from exploration to really prove that you're serious about uh, development. Is that correct? That's absolutely right. This is, this is a very big green light in a series of lights. Speaking of milestones and positive green light flags, I thought your announcement about Dr. Nigel Ricketts was really significant when I read his bio. It's, this is a very small sector, and I think everybody in the industry understands that. Can you tell us a little bit more about him and your team overall? Because that should definitely instill confidence with shareholders. Sure. Uh, Nigel was a great addition to the team. Nigel spent 10 years at the CSIRO, which is a scientific... Um, uh, think tank group that's a quasi government group in uh, in Australia. So he's got great background. He's actually a metallurgist, uh, but he's got good business skills. He understands marketing. He understands the next marketing challenge that we have. So he's a great addition to the team, both on flow sheet work and also uh, working on uh, on marketing in Australia and 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 uh, and, and Asia. We got folks working for us in China and in Taiwan. 
We've got, uh, of course, El Serico at Kingston in Ontario, working with us in, in Canada. Uh, I am very involved in the, mine, in the, in the, in the marketing aspects, uh, which is really front and center what we're doing now. We've got some people helping us in Europe as well. So we're covering a number of areas, and, uh, and that's really the focus of the business right now is while we wait for this mining lease, we're focused on offtakes. So, George, one, one of many reasons I've always enjoyed uh, working with Scandium International is you're always telling us shareholders what we should expect next. It's really exciting. So what should we expect, say, in the next quarter or two? Sure. Well, um, we've talked about the mining lease. We anxiously await that. Uh, when the minister puts uh, pen to paper, we'll have that. We'll have that final piece. Uh, we're also uh, talking with a number of potential customers about offtake agreements, and I hope to be able to talk about those when uh, when we have something signed. Uh, we we don't talk about it until we're done, and uh, we're working to uh, to get done in that in that space. With those, two, with those two things done, um, it's then time to get very serious about construction financing discussions. We'll have done all the work we need to do to uh, sit in front of financiers and raise $100 million U.S. to build this project. Well, George, uh, definitely look forward to uh, the next announcement, and thank you so much for joining us today. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Tracy. Thanks.